Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV. And if you're looking for a slow iPhone fix, this video is going to show you how to speed up the iPhone 13 Pro Max or older and how to speed up your iPad and iPod touch at the same time. Let's get started. Now we're gonna use the iPhone here, but it will work the same no matter which iOS device you have, as long as you follow the steps. Now, if you wanna skip ahead, there's chapters in the description because you may have used or tried some of these methods, but I'm gonna go through all of them that I use that work best. Now, the first one that we're gonna go through is in our settings application, and then you're going to wanna to tap on general, and then you wanna tap on iPhone storage. Now the iPhone storage, when it fills up, especially when you get close to your max, that's when things start to bog down, start to glitch a little bit and start to slow. So what you would do is kinda of come into this storage area, offload any unused apps. This is gonna remove them from your device. That way they're not going to be taking up as much space, but they're not going to delete the data. On the other hand, you can open applications and tap on them here and see how much documents and data they're using. Now, if you do delete the app, you're gonna delete the documents and data, but that's gonna save a lot of space for you. And then you can re-download the app and work with it again. I wouldn't recommend this if you have games and things that you wanna keep that saved data, but if you have something like this, you can delete the application right there and I'm gonna save 700 and something megabytes. And if I do that with enough apps, I'll free up some of that storage and get this down to a number where it's not going to be glitching anymore. You can also delete your photos, videos, your message history, all that stuff. Just keep in mind anything you delete will be gone. So only delete what you don't really need. And if you're looking for more tips on how to free up space, there's a link in the description as well. The next tip is a simple one, but it seems to fix a lot of issues with the iPhone. That's simply turning it off. So you're just going to press on one of the volume rockers and the side button at the same time. When you see the slide to power off appear at the top, just slide to power it off. Give the phone about 30 seconds, let it completely turn itself off. And then to turn it back on, you're just going to press and hold on that side button. When you see the Apple logo, you can remove it. Again, it'll take just a few seconds. And once it's powered back on, your iPhone should be running a little bit faster. The next tip to speed up the iPhone is to disable any features you're not really using. So pull down the control center here. You can see I have Wi-Fi, cellular, I've got my Bluetooth on. I'm gonna hold my finger on that option and these are all the options that are here. Now, if I'm not using any of these features here, I can just turn them off. So if you have personal hotspot on, turn that off. You can turn Bluetooth off if you're not using it right now, even Wi-Fi if you're not in a Wi-Fi setting because it's gonna constantly be looking for Wi-Fi locations, which although it's not a huge task for the iPhone, it's still a task running in the background. So just remove or disable whatever you're not using at the moment. And this is especially for the details of phones that are older, like iPhone 6S, which are just running slow at this point. You just wanna remove anything that may be bogging it down. Additionally, we're gonna go into our settings application here on the main page. And you're going to want to scroll down to where you see privacy. And then you wanna tap on location services and you can turn location services off altogether, but I would recommend just going through all your apps here and just turning off the ones that you don't need to have it because obviously some apps require it. So go through all your apps, turn them off on whichever apps don't need it. That's another task it won't have to perform. Another way to fix a slow iPhone is to look at the background app refresh. So we're gonna tap on general in settings this time and just scroll down, you'll see background app refresh right here. And this is another one where you can turn it off altogether so these apps don't refresh in the background. Or you can just go through whichever apps you want here and just disable them like so. That way only the specific apps you use a lot may refresh in the background or the ones you need them to will refresh. That's another task that won't have to be performed on the iPhone, giving you a little bit more speed in the process. Now, one of the best slow iPhone fixes is to update your applications. Now, when apps get updated, if you don't have them updating automatically in the App Store, you'll have to go in here manually and check them yourself. So you're gonna open the App Store here, you're gonna tap on your little account name there at the top. 
And then if you just scroll down a little bit, you'll see which applications are requiring or need of an update. So I actually had the issue with YouTube, but updating it completely fixed the speed issue and the glitching. So you can tap update all or just update them individually. So you just tap update all, it's gonna run the updates on all of them and that should help speed up those specific applications if they were giving you issues. Another setting that actually runs in the background of most iPhones is this parallax effect. Now it's hard to see, but when you move your phone around, you can actually see the apps almost hovering over the background and moving within it. If we open the settings here and we go to the main page and tap on accessibility, you can then access the motion option here. And what we want to do is reduce the motion. So when we turn that on, it's going to reduce the motion of the user interface, including the parallax effect of icons. Once you do that, you can notice even the way I just exited the app there, the transition is a lot different than when I had it on. So now that I have it, the motion not reduced, you can see it kind of pulls it down rather than just closing it almost with a fade effect. So I'll turn it back on. You'll see we get that fade effect. Also now if I move around, the background doesn't seem to be moving or the foreground of the applications isn't moving. That's gonna save you a little bit of resources in the phone, especially good for older iPhones. Now if you have a slow iPhone 6S or a slow iPhone 13 Pro Max, anything in between, and you're finding that the internet is where your slow activity is happening, it could be the browser. And for this, we're gonna open our settings here and we're gonna scroll down to where we see our browser. And that one here is going to be Safari first. And we'll look at Chrome in just a second. You're gonna pull down a little bit until you find the clear history and website data. And it's gonna do just that. It's clearing, we'll remove the history, cookies and other browsing data. The history will be cleared from devices signed into your iCloud account. It's gonna clear it all, not just from this device. We clear the history and that should help speed up Safari if that's an issue you're having. Now, if you use Chrome, open Chrome, the application, and from this main page, you'll see three dots at the bottom right. If we tap on that, it's gonna open our options. We're gonna tap on the history, and it's going to allow us to clear the browsing data. And when we tap on that, you can see what it's going to clear, the time range. You can set this to all time if you'd like, or whatever range you want. All time will give you the most data clearing ability. And then you can tap clear browsing data, or you can check off the options you want it to clear. So we want all of it gone, we'll clear the browsing data, it's gonna go through that, it clears it all up, and that should also help speed up your iPhone or iPad. The next option to speed up a slow iPhone is actually using the mail application. So if you use the mail app on your phone or your iPad, you wanna to tap to open it. You'll be able to see all of your emails that are in your inbox and everything like that, but what we're gonna do is enable a different option. So we're gonna tap on mailboxes here, and from this section, you wanna tap on edit, and you'll see the options here where you can select. We want to only have the unread emails come through. So that way it's not constantly holding all those other emails and searching and all that. It's a lot quicker for the system to work. And that way now when we tap on it, you'll see we only have the ones with the blue dot that have not been read there. So that should help a little bit to speed up your slow iPhone. Now the next tip here, if things don't work out, it's still slow with all those tips, you wanna do a soft reset. And to do that, you're going to press the volume up, then down, then hold on the side button here. So we're gonna press up, down, hold the side button. We're just gonna keep holding, don't let go. All right, it's powered itself down and it's powering itself back up. So you wanna hold that. I would suggest just holding it until you see the Apple logo. I pulled it off a little bit sooner just because I've done it so many times. But just wait until you see that Apple logo and then let go. It's going to soft reset the device. Shouldn't delete anything that you have there, but backing up your phone is always good just in general. So if you are a little bit worried, back it up first, then do this. But this is something I've done a lot and never had issues. All right, so the phone turned back on. If that does not work, it doesn't help you at that point. The next step here is to actually restore the iPhone. So what I would suggest you do is you back up the iPhone and then you go through a full restore of the device. Now I'm not gonna show that here because it's extremely long, the process. It's pretty much an entire video. So just search on how to back up and restore an iPhone from the backup. And that way you can then see if that fixes it. And if that does not fix it, 
then you may have to restore the iPhone and not use the backup. So only take pieces of what you needed from that backup. But those are the iPhone tips and tricks I use to speed up my iPhone 13 Pro. Uh, it works, like I said, with the iPhone 6S and older phones as well. If you have an iPhone 6 or older, like an SE, this may not work for you. You may be able to take advantage of some of these tips, but uh, it's pretty limited to the 6S and newer. If you have any questions or you've run into any issues, feel free to ask me in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. Also, don't forget to hit that like button if the video did help and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, as well as click that bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. If you're looking for more great iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, there's a link in the description to the full playlist to help you get the most out of your iPhone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.